Next, Sri A. M. Arif. Your suggestion is already welcome, always welcome, but to not to uh, go with the text to the entire speech. But at the same time... It is not uh, my suggestion, <laughs> it is the rule. Okay. On the other hand, we are, I request you to give the at least five minutes time for the lesser parties. No, you are providing <laughs> sufficient otherwise time to all the speakers. Otherwise, either, otherwise they are searching the for the The chair is not interfering any speeches. We are yeah. giving sufficient time to all okay, the speakers. Okay, okay, okay. I stand here on behalf of CPIM on the demands for grants for Ministry of Commerce and Industries. Sir, our economy has been passing through, the, uh, the, all other speakers spoke that, all other economy has been passing through horrific times starting with the demonetization and the GST implementation and which uh, culminated with the onset of COVID-19 pandemic in early 2020. But unfortunately, this government has failed to rose to the expectation of the industries, thirders as well as the common people of the country during these tough times here. Sir, industrial means I, don't, I am not talking about the Adani, Ambani and other corporate giants. Sir, if at least 10 percentage of the announcement made by this government could have been implemented, it would have brought a big relief for the small and medium type industries. Sir, I, wa I was watching the BJP speakers proudly speaking about the 20 lakhs Atmanirbhar Bharat package. What is the reality, sir? Has it ever bothered to review whether our economy benefited from this package? I request you to verify present situation of the MSME sector. The, this, the Karthik Chidambara has already revealed that uh, the situation of the MSME sector. How many uh, industries, uh, industries were su getting suicide and other things. The, re the reality is lots of industries were wiped, wiped away from the field. This is one of the major reasons of our highest unemployment ever since. Sir, some BJP speakers pride about the exports achieved by the government of India. So, sir, I have to bring some bitter experience of exports related to seafood, kair and cashew. As we all know, the seafood exporting industry is a major contributor to the country's forex reserve and plays a major role in generating employment for women in almost all coastal states, including Kerala. They are facing the problem of four or five fold increase in ocean freight charge, which is badly affecting our import and export industry, which are also leads to the enhancing the employment rate. Sir, even then, has this government took any proactive measures to help the seafood exporting industry during COVID-19? Sir, this government boasts of announcing emergency credit line guarantee scheme, ECLGS, for 26 industries. But the seafood exporting industry was excluded from those 26 industries without any reason. Sir, instead of helping the exporters, what this government was done was to penalize them to multiple ways. Not only that banks were hesitant to renew the credit limits, but also charged with the rates of annual processing fee and service charges. Also, this government nothing to overcome the severe shortage of containers due to which the shipment have become irregular on a permanent basis and many of the orders got cancelled. Sir, I am not elaborating more. In this plight of almost all industries in the economy, ironically, Though the, this government has no time to help the industrials and the traders, the Honorable Minister Hamble time to criticize the industrial leaders by questioning their integrity and sincerity to the nations. The Honorable Commerce Minister's speech in the meeting of Co Co uh, Confederation of Indian Industry was widely criticized. I am not going more, much more than that. Is this way to promote the industry to trade in the country? Is the way to achieve $2 trillion exports by 2027? Surely no, sir. Sir, coming to the coir industry, the lifeline of the people of my parliament constituency, Alapuda, things are no different. So due to the lockdown imposed during the COVID-19 spread, factories were closed and orders for crores of rupees were to be cancelled. Even then, no assistance was provided for coir industry by this government. And even now, it is struggling to gain orders. The shortage of containers and the fry, ocean freight charges I also badly affected the coir industry also. Sir, then, any respite for the cashew industry? Thousands of women 
used to work in cashew factories across the Kollam and parts of Alapada district in my constituency. So this government turned a blind eye towards the demands by the cashew industry to extend credit facilities. Instead, the banks were interested in invoking the provision of the Sarfaxi Act to recover the loans, which became pending because of the COVID-19 crisis. Here, the Ministry of Commerce and Industry could not do anything to save from this crisis. Sir, even the demand by the Cashew Export Promotion Council of India for loans restructuring was not considered by this government regarding our public sector undertakings. You have one and only program by doing the in disinvestment, all of them to the hands of corporates. You are selling, all, selling out all the PSUs, including the Navaritna companies, throw away, in, in a, throw away prices to the corporates. And you are talking about making laws in favor of the uh, selling, selling the uh, easily and smoothly. On the other hand, your people are proudly speaking about the making India, made in India, Atmanurbar Bhar, etc., etc. So, so I, sir, I am not elaborating more, elaborating more in each and every sector of industry in, and trade. Not only that the government has failed to instill the confidence, but also demoralized with its anti-people policies. Sir, I request the Honorable Minister to patiently hear the problems of the industries and the laborers those who are dedicated to the, the growth of each industry and took steps to grant their genuine demands for their survival. By these words, I conclude my speech. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There is no interruption from the chair. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Sri Ram Siromani Vamaji.